Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on our channel or our website. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a 2004 serial Rolex Oyster Perpetual GMT Master II, reference 16710. It's a handsome pre-supercase watch. Following the era of hollow end links and hollow lugs, this watch is a bit of a transitional piece featuring the signature black and red coke style bezel. It has the solid link of the later bracelet and the solid profile of the later lug, but with the same vintage feel of previous five digit GMTs. Let's throw it on the wrist real quick. The timepiece is 40 millimeters in diameter by a remarkably slender 12 millimeters thick. If you were to measure it from lug to lug, it is 47.6 millimeters, but if you include the solid end links that extend across the wrist, the watch is 50.6 millimeters across the wrist with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. As you can see, it's a great looking watch. Low slung, close coupled, relatively narrow across the wrist and suitable for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. Now taking a quick look at the bracelet, since we are looking at a later production 78790A bracelet, you can see you do have those solid end links and we still have the hollow center link. So it's a bit of past and present in terms of Rolex construction. It has a little bit of Rolex rattle, but not too much. And that's part of the charm of the watch. All satin tops, polished faces, removable links fixed by screws. You have the stamped oyster clasp with the clamshell locking system. And you can see that the impressions of the embossed link pattern as well as the crown still very sharply defined, a sign of little, if any, refinishing. You also have several different divots drilled internally so you can restation the anchoring point of the bracelet to fine tune the fit. Taking a quick look at the underside, you can see Rolex has always done the underside of bracelets well with plenty of gulfs between the links to avoid trapping wrist heat, sweat, or moisture. Now, the timepiece features satin lug hoods, polished flanks, and as you'll appreciate, a lovely and perfectly preserved anodized red and black bi-directional GMT style bezel. Now the timepiece is designed to be used in conjunction with Greenwich Mean Time. So originally launched in late 1954 for Pan Am pilots, the GMT Master featured a 24 hour hand and a 12 hour hand that were synchronized together so you couldn't set them separately. With the arrival of the Master II, the 16760, we gained the ability to set that 12 hour hand and 24 hour hand separately. But still, if you set the 24 hour hand to Greenwich Mean Time, you can use the GMT offset of your port or airport of destination to temporarily read three time zones on this dial. Sapphire crystal, of course, black lacquered dial based with white gold hands and indices. This is well into the Luminova era, so no questions about whether it's original tritium. There was never any tritium on this dial. Screw down crown, Rolex twin lock, 100 meter water resistance, and inside the case, manufacturer caliber, 3185, 31 joules, 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate, bi-directional winding with a jeweled staff and Teflon coated reversing wheels for smoothness and silence. 48 hour power reserve, it features the 12 and 24 hour dual time function, the hacking or stop seconds. It includes a full balance bridge with a free sprung index for shock resistance and a handmade overcoil hairspring plus five position adjustment to help it earn a COSC chronometer certification. So not just a very shock resistant and water resistant watch, but a very accurate watch. An all time great and in a bezel that has never been available on the ceramic models. This is the Rolex Oyster Perpetual GMT Master to 16710, also known as the Coke. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Highly caffeinated with the Rolex GMT Coke.